Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another Sunday afternoon. Been sitting here in my office over the last few days, been doing a little bit of redesign work, and it's time for me to get up, get my Canon printer set up, ready to rock and roll. In doing this, it kind of reminded me of a tool that a gentleman by the name of Steve Huddy from the Canon Collective told me about some time ago. And it's actually a really useful tool, something that not a lot of people know about. It's a tool which is going to help you when it comes to printing your photograph to make sure it's as accurate as possible. So we'll jump into it. Here we're in Lightroom. We've got the dance, which is the uh, photograph I took from in Lake Bonnie a few months back when I was with Matt. Um, it's time to print it. Well, if you've been kind of sneaking my Facebook page, you'll know that I've already printed this. So anyway, we want to print to it. Now, if you're a little bit like me, you know when you come into Lightroom or to any of the print tools that you use and you hit that print button, you know you're going to commit to it. You know that print's going to cost you. An A3 Plus uh, print of mine cost me roughly $17. I know as soon as I hit that print button, I'm committed. I'm kind of panicking to make sure it's going to come out all right. So with this tool, it's going to help you to figure out, make sure you get the right color, make sure you get the right brightness and contrast to your images. So let's have a look at it. The tool is the Canon Print Studio Pro. Free download, it's for Canon users. I'm not sure if a similar tool exists for other users, um, but if you're a Canon user, grab this tool. It does a range of different things. It works with Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. Um, it's just a, it's basically a printing tool, but let's show you what it can actually do for you back in Lightroom. So here's the dance as we said, I've got this photograph ready to print. So I'm gonna come over here in Lightroom to the print tab. And you can see on the right hand side, we've got all these options, all right? So before I get to those, what I wanna do is make sure this photograph's gonna print out as best it can. So I'm gonna come up to the top left hand side of Lightroom, click on the file tab, and then plug in extras, and then come over to the Canon Print Studio Pro. This is gonna, it's going to load up this photograph for me. Just uh, talk amongst yourselves for two seconds. Here it comes. All right, so here's our photograph in Print Studio Pro. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump straight on over to the color settings. And then in here down the bottom, there's a button that says Pattern Print. I'm gonna click that. So it's gonna give this little triptych, I guess, if you like, of your photograph. Now I'm gonna make this paper size a little bit smaller just because just it helps to zoom the image in. You can read it a bit better. I can't really zoom on this screen. But if we look at this bottom image, we can see the, um, it's the cyan colors 15, magenta 15, yellow 30. Uh, I believe that's correct. Oh yes, yeah, look at that down the bottom, cyan, magenta, and yellow. So you can see it's starting to adjust those values to give your image a different look as it goes through. Now, what I like to do is I, I tend not to use this one. I go to the brightness and contrast, and what it does is opens up the same image with different brightness and contrast values. So in the very center here, you've got a brightness of zero, contrast of zero, that is your photograph as it comes out of Lightroom. In the very top left hand corner, we've got the brightness set at 30, and the uh, contrast set at minus 30, so really reducing that contrast. Very opposite to that, down the bottom right hand corner, brightness minus 30, contrast 30. So what this tool will let you do is you can come along here and you can print this sample sheet out. When it's printed out, take it out in the light, have a look at your photograph and see which values actually make your photograph represent the best they possibly can. Once you've kind of got there and you like them, what you do is you hang on to those values. So we're gonna take the, just for argument's sake, we'll take the brightness 30, uh, minus 30, sorry, and the contrast of um, 30. We're gonna remember those details, write them down a piece of paper, whatever you need to do. I'm gonna come out of this, normally you'd hit print, but I'm gonna hit cancel out of this. And we're gonna come back into Lightroom. And where you use those settings is you come back down here, we're in the print tab. So you've gone through all your settings, set up everything the way you want it. And then down the bottom here, you've got your brightness and your contrast. So it was minus 30, so we'll minus that to 30. And then the other one was contrast plus 30. Trying to get the 30, here we go. Okay, so in minus 30 plus 30, this is as it printed on that piece of paper. So it's time now to hit the print button. It should give you the same looking print as you got out of that uh, sample sheet. And that's one way of making sure that just before you hit that, that print button and you're committed to spending that money, your photograph's gonna look the absolute best that it can. Really appreciate you coming along and watching today's video. Um, it's only a short one. I'm doing a larger uh, video on why I think that printing is important. Um, this is just one little part of it. This, this video won't be in it, but I'll, I'll redo it. 
Anyway, if you're so inclined, uh, head on over to the Luminous Light uh, YouTube channel. We'd love to see you there as a subscriber. We don't have too many at this point in time, and we're not looking to monetize it. But if we get a few more, what it is going to do is let us help doing live streams and those types of things, which is where we want to get to. Our Facebook page is going really, really well. Our YouTube channel, it's it's got a few keen subscribers. We'd like a few keen more. So head on over, Luminous Light Project. There'll be a link in the description below. Really enjoy it. Anyway... Have a great Sunday afternoon, folks, and we'll see you in the next one.